Hello everybody and welcome. This is my new daily driver, a 2007 Vauxhall Extra 1.8 design. It has 127,000 miles, 5 months MOT, a ton of history and I've paid only £950 for it. But have I made a good deal? So once the sale of the Scenic was agreed, I started to search for a new car. I already had a few cars on my watch list that I was interested, but just a few days before the sale was uh, done, the ads all started to disappear and uh, all the interesting ones uh, were a little bit too far. I will refuse to travel more than an hour uh, for a car due to previous disappointments. So uh, I had to start and search again. And I really wanted something like a uh, Mondeo or a, a Focus Estate. And I thought, well, so I'll just give uh, the Astra a go. And I found this locally, just uh, only 20 minutes away. Contacted the owner, went for a test drive, liked the car, and late in the evening, we made the deal and picked up the car on Monday night. And uh, so far, I have been uh, quite happy with it. Uh, the car has had a good history. Basically, it was owned by the same family for the last 11 years. In fact, the current owner inherited the car last year from his uh, late brother, and uh, it was used as a second car uh, ever since. And they, they thought of selling it because they simply would have no more use for it. It was only used for local shopping and uh, for the occasional run to the local recycling center. But it was a very well-kept car with tons of history, and uh, which we're going to look more into detail later. In terms of bodywork, this car does seem very well-kept with 127,000 miles and 17 years of age under its belt. It does look rather good. Areas such as the bumper, which are usually quite sensitive uh, to damage, are actually scuff free. And the rest of the bodywork has uh, hardly any damage whatsoever. The wheels are in very good condition with uh, no curbing marks or uh, even uh, deterioration of paint. And the only area that has some damage is around here on the front wing, but nothing that cannot be easily sorted by a smart repair. It is also good news here at the front, where there are no scuff marks of any sort, chip stones, and uh, the only thing I notice is this lamp here that uh, looks rather old, probably still the original one, and uh, there is some condensation inside. Uh, it looks like this one was replaced at some point because it does look much newer compared to the one on the right hand side. Just the fog lights do uh, seem to have yellowed, where the um, reflector material has eroded uh, with time, but that shouldn't be a problem. I'm quite happy with the fact that the plastics are um, not uh, stained or uh, faded. And in here, it's the only thing I found odd with the car. Looks like these are covers that are primed and not body colored. Maybe they were um, knocked over in the past and uh, replaced and not painted over which actually not a bad thing. I can always get this uh, painted at some point. The uh, glass is also in very good condition. Just uh, one minor crack in here, which I'm going to get uh, sorted out at some point. Uh, new wiper blades, and that's it. Oh, and new tires that were put uh, just uh, over a thousand miles ago, I think. They are in very condition as well. The ones in the rear, do have plenty of thread as well, but they are starting to crack. However, it does seem to be uh, quite common on cars these days that uh, only just after a couple of years, tires do start to crack. And that's it. Uh, everything on the outside looks pretty good. So let's look at the inside. Here on the inside, it looks pretty good as well. Just a little bit of wear from uh, usage of the heel. But everything else, the controls, everything around the car does seem to be very, very well kept. Just a little bit of a mark here on the fake leather. Uh, to be honest, on my uh, Scenic, it had also the same mark. And if we sit in here, 
we do have a pretty much clean area. Okay, there's some dirt which needs a vacuum and so on. There's no scuffs in the seat. And it looks like that these were barely used. The material looks in really good condition. There is somewhere, of course, under the gear knob and also on the gator. But everything, all the controls do seem to be in very good condition. Even the steering wheel. Uh, I did clean it up a little bit the other day. And it's still very grippy, still a lot of the grain on the wheel cover itself. And there you go, 127,000 miles, well, almost. And I'm very happy with it. It feels like a car that has half of its mileage. There's no scuff marks, no, um, uh, no scratches or anything like that. Very good interior, especially this uh, piano black trim, which is very prone to wear seems to be not just only well built but also well kept same story also here at the back of the car where the seats do seem to be in very good condition as well of course my daughter seat is already installed but one thing i only noticed later the rear headrests are missing um I need to speak to the previous owner about it because i really could do with them but apart from that everything is very uh, very well kept only electrical problem I've got is that window over there. It does not work. But to be perfectly honest, it's not really uh, that much use. But it's something that I will look uh, another time. And the boot opens very easily. The gas ruts are still in very good condition. And of course, it's a little bit dirty. They're used for the local uh, tip runs. But apart from the dirt, it's actually not... Uh, worn whatsoever. There's no nasty stains or anything. There's still quite a lot of grain here and um, Just a little bit of scuffing in here, but that is expected with a car that's 17 years old and 127,000 miles. I think it is really well kept But does it drive like a 127,000 miles car? Let's find out. It does start first time every time nice purring no noise of clunks or anything of sort it does feel very very good so let's just go for a little spin the clutch does have a little bit of a low biting point but it's just a matter of actually getting used to it pulls very well in uh, all gears it's been actually quite a pleasure to drive this car for the last few days and uh, with the condition of the roads in the uk uh, uh, you will also notice the usual rattles, squeaks, and so on, but not on this car. Everything seems to be very well screwed together. There's no noises of any sort apart from the usual road noise. I do like this engine very much. It is a 1.8 petrol, 138 horsepower, and it is just adequate for your uh, daily driving. Certainly more powerful than the Focus 1.6 petrol that I had before. This feels so much better to drive. It, everything nice and tight on the curves. Great chassis, great car. And at motorway speeds, despite the fact that the engine runs at around 3,250 3, RPM, roughly the same as my old Focus, it does feel so much quieter. The soundproofing is really good. The engine doesn't seem to be uh, working too hard and the driving experience is actually very pleasant. I have done uh, just over 200 miles in this car this week and uh, I just simply cannot fault it. Despite this car having 127,000 miles, it drives like half the mileage. Everything just feels so tight and um, I, I, I'm really surprised of how this car has turned out. It really exceeded my expectations. And what about the other electrics? Everything does work very well. The, the wipers, the lights, the radio. And apart from that electric window uh, in the back, absolutely everything works. The electric mirrors do work. There's no loose trim of any sort, and uh, all the trim is in good condition. I think I might have done a very good deal, don't you think? 
and here it is the engine uh, very nice to have uh, a gas strut and everything seems to be nice and clean in here the previous owner uh, had a tendency to put uh, some WD-40 in order to protect uh, all the metal elements from corrosion and he actually it does look like they've done a very good job because this is very tidy there's no oil leaks all oil levels are in good place the car was serviced uh, back in February the oil is in good level all nice and clean and I don't have to do any work until around February and March when the MOT is due Regarding the service history, there are stacks of it, which can be found in this folder given to me by the previous owner. And uh, it's actually a huge amount of paperwork, only for the last 11 years. There's all sorts of things of receipts, also a second key, all the parts replaced, and funnily enough, even all the tax discs um until they're expired from 15 14 13 and all that it's very good actually to keep as a history of the car and there is one very interesting and this is the original invoice from when the previous owner bought the car back in february 2013. you can see in here that uh, he bought the car back in february 2013 and also a curious detail is that he treated in an audi coupe from 1990 with an astonishing mileage of 196,000 miles. Uh, sadly, he only got 250 pounds as a part exchange, meaning that the Astra with uh, 44,600 miles uh, cost him 4,740. The Audi Coupe is actually a very nice car. I wonder how much that car would have been worth today if it was still around. Sadly, the MOT of that Audi expired in May 2013, so probably it no longer exists and what else needs to be done in this car well i would like to give it um, a detailing and a service at some point uh, but detailing i think it won't happen until the spring when the weather gets better and there's definitely no chances of salt on the roads and of course the service earlier in the year in terms of cam belt it needs to be done at some point next year uh, when uh, it will be 10 years since it was last done but it is a job that can be done at home and i will try to attempt it at some point let's see if i have enough time and apart from that it doesn't need anything else as i said before this car has exceeded my expectations not because i thought it was a bad car i always thought it was a good car but the more I drive it, the more I like it. I initially bought it as a stopgap, but uh, this car has turned out to be so good, I think I might keep it for longer than I intended. Well, let's see how things um, go in terms of maintenance. That will dictate how long I will keep it. But so far, so good. You know, Vauxhall used to have a, a slogan back in the 80s, I think. It was called Once driven forever smitten i'm not really into getting smitten by cars but this one has turned out to be uh, very good and i really really enjoy it could it be a novelty factor well perhaps but i didn't really quite get this feeling when i bought the focus and also when i got the scenic so um let's see how things will go so there you go thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.